Hi, I'm Holly Peaks. I'm going to investigate the pollution at Bobbin Head. So we've arrived at Bobbin Head and I have read the history here. And it says that it used to be natural waterways until 1900 the first boat shed was made. Let's go see what has impacted it. This was the natural beauty of Bobbin Head. And now this is the marina that Bobbin Head has built. Well, I'm down here at the mangrove area and the tide comes in twice a day with the fish laying their eggs. But as you can see, the mangroves are dying off with all the petrol and pollution that the marina has given it. These boats are diesel boats and you should see when they start. A lot of black smoke comes out and the oil goes into the water. As you can see here, they've pulled the boats out of the water to clean them. Even though they're careful, that still pollutes the water and affects the marine life. As you can see behind me, there's still some natural bird life. There are still lots of renovations in building on, which can create a lot of pollution. Ducks are able to thrive here, even though there's a lot of pollution. There's always lots of sanding and painting going around here. And sadly, that goes into the water too. As you can see, they do three boats at a time, which means more pollution. But as you can see, the positive thing is they put a plastic cover on, stopping the pollution. Not to mention the noise pollution! As you can see, there's a lot of pollution down here, natural and human. It looks very dirty water. Ew! <laughs> pollution! <coughs> there used to be thousands of oysters along this bank, but now that the pollution's here, they don't seem to grow anymore. There used to be thousands and thousands of orchids here, but now you can't see a single one. Even though there's a park over the other side called Orchid Park, there's no single one to be found. That's because in 1900, the boats came in, the petrol and the fuel killed them all. Track, really peaceful track. There's a certain amount of human pollution now that there's a restaurant here with kids throwing things to the side. I don't see any fish, and we all know why there isn't any. Well, this is how it used to be. Even the nice bush paths have been replaced with concrete. Recycling? Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Recycling. Well, I'm down here at the end of the jetty, and you can see that all the oysters are dead, and that even some fish down there are dead. You can imagine that's from the diesel. Since the boats have moved here, even the smells moved too. Diesel, you can even smell it. This place still looks beautiful, except I could have imagined what it'd be like in the 18th century when all the orchids were around. But since the boats have come and polluted it, it took away some of it. But it's still a very nice place to visit. <laughs>